What's up, man? Sites. Um, want to tell you all this little bit of story. Uh, you saw the title, so um, it's funny. This happened to me a few years ago. There was this uh, white girl that I used to work with. We waited tables together, and uh, you know we used to flirt all the time. Actually, I used to flirt with her a lot. Like I was just grinding her down. You know, I could tell that she had a little something for me. She thought I was attractive, but I knew that she was from an uppity part of town and a little bit kind of timid, I guess, on how to act around black guys. So I thought that was kind of cute because that she was a little shy about around me about that stuff. So I used to mess with her all the time. I would, you know, tell her how good she looked and tell her she was sexy and all this other shit. So for the longest time, though, she had me fooled. Like, I did not think that I was going to pull her ever. And... What happened was, a um, few months had passed, and one time I saw her at this party, right? And I saw her there, she was looking bad. It was good, all right? So, talking to her, I go outside, I'm talking to her, talking to her. When she, you know, I walked her out and everything, and, uh, you know, she left. I didn't try to kiss her or nothing like that. I was just trying to cement the deal. I was really trying to get at her at this point. It's funny too, because me and her are actually going running at one point, and you know, we were we were we were really cool, you know. But she, um, you know, unbeknownst to me, this before I could read women real well. Remember, I told y'all how at just one point I started to be able to read people and trust my gut. I should have trusted my gut back then. So, uh, months, I guess go by after that instance I hadn't seen her in a while and one of my friends was talking shit to me is a girl and she was just basically just hating she was just hating a little bit as far as I'm concerned she see this video if you wasn't hating you wasn't hating but it sounded like you was hating to me cause I'm not like this but she was like I shouldn't even tell you this cause you so damn arrogant I'm like what are you talking about she was like you know such and such well she said she liked you but she was too afraid to go out with you because she didn't know what her man would think, her ex would think about her ground with a black guy. I was like, what? Wait a minute. Since when the fuck has anybody gave a damn about what their ex thought about their next girlfriend or boyfriend? Like, really? Unless you're trying to get them back. And you know, you know, fellas, we get a better, better bitch than the one we had before. And we like, yeah, I want her to see me with her. Yeah, I'm going to go to her job with her. You know what I'm saying? You know, girls do the same thing. But I was like, what? Yeah, she was like, yeah, she, she was afraid of what he would think about her dating a black guy. I'm like, what? it's her fucking ex. So, as you can see, there is some truth to that whole thing where it's like, if, if a white woman dates a black man, then white men don't want them. I think mostly it's on the whole insecurity thing, you know, if the white man does not want to date her, it's because he's insecure, he's buying into the whole myth of us being hung, you know, three inches from the floor, and you know, all that shit. Like, not all of us got huge dicks and can fuck. That just ain't it, you know what I'm saying? Uh, there's a lot of things about black men that are true sexually, you know, and in the bedroom, you know, we got a good stroke, we got rhythm, we are big, you know, we know we doing, a lot of us, but it's not like we're these, like, gods that cannot be equated in the bedroom, you know what I mean? So, white men, stop worrying about that shit. And for the rest of you, yeah, I know you're just racist. That's all it is. You're monkeys and you're subhuman America. Yeah, I know. I, 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 I know. You, you, you ignorant motherfuckers I don't even care about. But, you see that, y'all? You see that? See, I could have went. And it's funny because me and her got along so well. We really did. We got along really, really well. I was like, that is really fucked up. So, um, what's funny is, though, she ended up getting back with that ex and marrying him. And I recently saw her status on Facebook and her divorce. See that? See, girl? See, you done fucked up. See that now? I'm destroying Sarah Casey on a daily basis. She's reaping the benefits that you could have had. But you lost it. All because you're afraid of what your boyfriend would think about a little bit of chocolate. And everybody loves chocolate, baby. So, 
Yeah, that's the story, y'all. Ain't that stupid of her? I was just retarded. That's all right, though, because I found out that she was wilding the fuck out anyway on her, man. And I wouldn't want to get with her and find out she was doing that to me. So I guess it was good that I did not go out with this girl. So, yeah, I guess there's some truth to that shit, man. <laughs> Crazy, ain't it?